Hey everybody, it's Mike from Get Your Rock Out, and I'm sat here at Roadhouse Manchester with Anders from Wolf. How are you doing, mate? Hi, um, I'm doing pretty good, actually. It's, uh, I've been on tour for two weeks, almost, and I'm um, getting really into it, so <laughs> feeling good right now. Do you find it often takes time to like get into a tour, or are you all guns blazing the first night and then you have to recover from that? How does it work? Yeah, I, th I think you need to get in some mood for, for the tour. The first days on the tour is quite... Uh, stressy and you don't know what's gonna happen and but but when you get the feel of it it's it's perfect yeah good. yeah so yeah so this is uh, rescheduled dates of course you were due to play a festival here is it september what happened with that yeah uh, i th think the the tour was too close f the release of the record so people didn't get get to get the record before we went on tour so we were just feeling a bit bad about that so we we delayed it because we wanted people to get the rec new record and and just listen to it so they can mm. uh, enjoy the songs much more now when we're out playing so and the festival we were supposed to do the festival uh, but it was cancelled due to some strange <laughs> things I, I don't really know I've told the, the venue they couldn't use the venue and uh, I, I don't really know actually there's a lot of stories going around about it so it was a bad time because uh, that was around about the time that a couple of other festivals seemed to get yeah. cancelled there seems to be some kind of dark thing happening yeah, yeah. in this country with festivals you know people try and start them up and then for various reasons various ones don't seem to then see the light of day i mean does this happen on the continent is this is this just a british thing no i think it's happening all over europe actually there's a lot of festivals and and i mean of course it's fun to go on a festival but in the end it's all a matter of money people spend a lot of man money on festivals and, and tickets and stuff so I think I think sometimes it's too much festivals all over the Europe's but that segues into you've just been announced for bloodstock I yeah. believe main stage as well yeah uh, bloodstock is uh, like a second home for us we've been doing that festival for three or four times now and uh, actually it was was my first gig in Wolf oh, yeah. uh, at Bloodstock when I started 2006 or seven, I guess was yeah. back there. Tell us about that then. Tell us about that experience. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had some technical experience. <laughs> technical. Uh, we had the blackout. <laughs> no, all the power went out on stage, and there was <laughs> silence and darkness, uh, and. Uh, I was thinking about doing something to to get the crowd still looking at us. So I started to do a striptease, and maybe that's why I, I got the place in the band because, <laughs> yeah. And we were handing out some beers from the stage, and and I do, did the striptease. So I think it was all good, and actually all the crowd was staying there until we got the power back and can, could continue our set. So I think it was a fun thing. So it's, how does that work then? A striptease just to know music, so it's just it's just a kind of visual uh, thing. You need to pretend some good song in your head and then just go for it. What song were you <laughs> thinking of? I don't remember. <laughs> I tell you what, I, don't, I think if you haven't been on the main stage at Bloodstock and you've experienced some kind of technical difficulty, then you haven't really. There always seems to be one yeah. every year. There's something happens. Yeah, uh, I, th I think it's something that happened to Wolf every time we played. There's some technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking to break the streak. So I hope this will be the show that <laughs> everything runs smoothly. Yes. Yeah. Just have the beers ready. I remember going there and seeing a Sabaton and they had all the kinds of technical difficulties. Oh, yeah. Throw out some beers and be approachable, charismatic, everything's fine. Yeah. Nobody, re nobody really cares if the show continues on yeah. afterwards. I think you have to do the best of it and yeah, be people like beer. And <laughs> so yes, just give them, give them what they like. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now let's talk about the new album and let's talk about Devil Seed, which is a really good, um, it's very forceful, it's got the classic wolf sound, it seems to be that uh, you guys stepped up a bit in terms of the aggression a little bit, there seems to be, like the guitar work seems to be a little bit deeper, darker a little bit, I'm thinking of songs like Shark Attack and yeah. I Am Pain and things like that. Tell me about the uh, the writing process, were you looking to do anything different or were you just, just full steam ahead, this is wolf, let's do the same thing? Uh, I think... The first thing is uh, we got Simon on board in, in Wolf, he's a new guitar player mm -hmm. and it's the first record for him to, to uh, record with Wolf and he's an amazing guitar player. Nick is always good in recording him and playing guitar but Simon's got a little more edge to it I think. Yeah. Uh, he comes from a different background, more heavy guitars and, uh, and stuff so I think Simon's had sat, put a, a small mark on this album as well. That's a new member, and I'm really happy uh, with Simon in the band as well. So, what's it like then when you uh, get to sit down to write a song? Then is it is it like Nick has an idea and you go with his direction, or does everyone contribute? Like as a new member, how does uh, how does I come in and how does he contribute? Uh, Simon and I wrote some stuff together, and then we, we the ideas we we gave to Nick to work it out and just make it go through the wolf filter so to say so if you have got an idea and you put it through Nick it's gonna sound like wolf in the end so Nick is the spider in the net if, uh, and and Nick of course writing his own thing and we have to put our touch on it as well so it's a it's a whole group writing together but I mean Nick is is the only member that st uh, are still from the from the beginning so so uh, yeah uh, Nick's doing the, the last touch of every song we do so and make it sound wolf so do you think his thought process then is if it sounds like it did at the beginning or it sounds like the kind of wolf sound that I had when I started the band like is that is that his thought process I mean I mean we're getting older and we got other influences and and I mean, the taste in music change a little bit as well, and and so we couldn't write a new, I mean, Black Wings album. That's impossible because there were other members in the band, and it's it's almost what is it, 14, 15 years ago. So uh, what comes out, and we like it. That's what happens, and that's what you get on the record. Mm. So. We don't we don't really think about it has to sound like wolf because it's it's at automatically it sounds like wolf in the end so yeah. Do you find sometimes that like if you're writing something with Simon say and then make a lot you get together and you have like an ideas meeting you were uh, you pitch your your separate things sometimes do you have something that's completely out there as far as he's concerned does he have something that's completely out there as far as you're concerned and do you in attempt to then like remold those like what is it like when you have different ideas things that the other person just wouldn't have come up with in a million years yeah of, of course we have uh, different ideas and, and some of them fits wolf very well and we we work on those and some ideas we just save for for something else and i mean we are four members in the band and, and everybody has uh, their input in the band so uh, I mean yeah in the end it's it's uh, we are happy with the result and, and uh, yeah so uh, and we, we worked with Jens Bogren as a producer and it's you really know what he's, he's doing and he got the feel of Wolf from the beginning so we didn't we didn't need to tell him what to do he just he just got it from the beginning and it was really amazing to, to hear the album come through when he worked with it, mixing it and uh, yeah, it was amazing. Cool. Yeah. So what happens then between the, these UK dates and Bloodstock? You guys got another European tour on the go, something like that? Uh, we have some shows in, in, back in Sweden uh, going on and then we have some gig in Greece and some festival in Spain uh, and we got of course Sweden Rock yeah. this year at last so yeah uh, I think we got a lot of thing going on uh, 
and we we celebrate 20 years in Wolf this this year. So that's what I was kind of hinting yeah, toward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so we think uh, we've been thinking about doing something special. Uh, we're planning on releasing in uh, Wolf Ale this summer as well. Oh. Uh, early summer, so we have, have the whole summer to enjoy it you know, on <laughs> festivals, and uh, so that's one thing. And then we we've been discussing uh, and, uh, a lot of other stuff. So yeah. just have that on tap with Trooper Beer then at other festivals. Oh. That's the plan. It would be nice. <laughs> I hope we can work it out in some way, but you never know. But uh, the plan is to get it out there. Nice. Actually, yeah. I was going to ask um, this question of Bloodstock, but it applies to Sweden Rocks as well, being that it's uh, more, you know, the, the hometown kind of thing, a home country thing even. Yeah. Um, when you go to big festivals like that and you're observing all these um, young metal bands coming through and everything, I mean, do you look at bands and think to yourself, these are guys that we need to tour with? Do you ever look and think to yourselves as veterans now? we need to um, take these guys and we need to showcase them to our fans or do you just think to yourself they sound amazing we should tour with them like is it that simple uh, yeah of course uh, i mean we are getting old in this game of course but veterans i was polite yeah uh, but but uh, we're still young at heart so <laughs> that's what it's all about and the music makes us young i guess and going around on tour is it's just like a playground for <laughs> for us so uh, but uh, yeah of course there's a lot of good bands young bands coming up and and uh, some of them I mean some of them you can have as an opening act and some of them you open for in the end so you never know that's a that's a fine thing with with music you never know what happens to all those different bands you can tell actually so yeah <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll have to wrap this interview up, I'm afraid, but do you have a message right into the camera for all our readers that get your rock out? Yeah, of course. Uh, if you haven't bought the, the Devil Seed album, you just go ahead and buy it and listen to it. It will grow on you because it's a really good album, in my opinion. And um, hope to see you on tour somewhere or at uh, Bloodstock, maybe. Or indeed, listen to it on Spotify, where I checked this out today because I was having another listen to you know, just to prepare for the interview. Yeah. And there is a, an EP on there, a five track EP by a completely different band called Wolf, but they've just put it. I'm talking techno, kind yeah. of, re there's remixes in there. So if you want to check Devil Seed out on Spotify and then hear what Wolf sound like in an alternate universe, you can do that too. Yeah. You might want to uh, check that out, it's really trippy. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Wow, they've got a new EP out, and it's oh, it's yeah. not you. It's yeah, someone I've heard else. About that. uh, that's strange. <laughs> but uh, maybe you need to know what you're looking for on Spotify some sometimes, because Wolf isn't that. I mean, it's full full letters, and it's a simple band name. So, yeah. But uh, Wolf Devil Seed, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, have a good show tonight, and, and I'll see you at Bloodstock as well. Thank you. Have a good tour. Thank you. Thanks very much.